sa sa salita ng Diyos sa Matthew 21 um, ipagpatuloy po natin para ito ay matapos natin at tayo ay makarinig ng salita niya okay guys kung bago ka lang sa aking channel <coughs> wag mong kalimutan i-like, subscribe and share and click the bell notification para updated ka sa aking mga video Okay po. So, thank you. So, ngayon, magbabasa tayo sa Matthew, Matthew chapter 21. Nag-stop tayo sa Matthew 20. So, ngayon, chapter 21. And when they draw near unto Jerusalem, and where came to Bethphage, Bethphage, and to the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus two disciples, saying unto them, Go unto the village over against you, and straightway ye shall find an ass tied, and a colt with hair. Lost them, and bring them unto me. And if any man say aught unto you, ye shall say, The Lord hath need of them, and straightway he will send them. All this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughter of Sion, Behold, thy king cometh unto thee, make and sitting upon an ass, and a colt the foal of an ass. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them, and brought the ass and the colt, and put on them their clothes, and they sit him thereon. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way other scat down branches from the trees, and strode them in the way. The multitudes that went before and that followed crying, saying, Hosanna to the son of David, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And when he was come unto Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. And the multitude said, this is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and both and the temple and overthrow the tables of the money changers and the seat of them that sold doves. And said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. And when the chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful things that he did in the children crying in the temple, and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, they were sore displeased, and said unto them, Hearest thou what they say? And Jesus said unto them, Ye have ye never read out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast perfect, perfected praise? And he left them and went out of the city unto Bethany, and he lodged there. Now in the morning as he returned unto the city, he hungered, and when he saw a fig tree, and the way he came to it, and found nothing thereon but leaves only, 
and said unto it, Let no fruit grow unto thee, henceforth ward forever. And the first simply the fig tree withered away. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon, how soon is the fig tree withered away? Jesus he came to it and found nothing thereon, but leaves only, and said unto it, Let no fruit grow on thee, henceforth ward forever, and for simply the fig tree withered away. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree withered away? Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith and doubt not, you shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive and when he was come unto the temple, the chief priest and the elders of the people came unto him, as he was teaching, and said, By what authority dost thou think these things, and who give thee this authority? And Jesus answered and said unto them, I also will ask you one thing, which if ye tell me, I in likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, whence what was it, from heaven or of men? And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If he shall say from, the, from heaven, he will say unto us, Why did ye not then believe him? But if we shall say of men, we fear the people, for all hold John as a prophet. And they answered Jesus and said, We cannot tell. And he said unto them, Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. But what think ye? A certain man had two sons, and he came to the first and said, Son, Go work today, go work today, and my vineyard. He answered and said, I will not, but afterward he repented and went. And he came to the second and said likewise, and he answered and said, I go, sir, and went not. Whither of them twin did the will of his father? They say unto him, The first Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, That the publicans and the harlots go unto the kingdom of God before you. For John came unto you in the way of righteousness, and ye believe him not, but the publicans and the harlots believed him, and ye when ye had seen it, repented not afterward, that ye might believe him. Here another parable. There was a certain house yard, householder, which planted a vineyard, and hence it round about the digged a wine press, and eat, and built a tower, and let it out to husbandmen, and went unto a far country. And when the time of the fruit drew near, he sent his servants might receive the fruits of it. And the husbandman took his servant and beat one and killed another, and stoned another. And again he sent other servants more than the first, and they did unto them likewise. But last of all he sent unto them his son, saying, They will revenge my son. But when the husbandmen saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir, come, 
let us kill him, and let us size on his inheritance. And they caught him, and they cut him, cast him out of the vineyard, and slew him. When the Lord therefore of the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto, the, unto those husbandmen? They say unto him, He will miserable destroy those wicked men, and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruits and their seasons. Jesus said unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same is become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. And it is a marvelous in our eyes. Therefore, say I unto you, The kingdom of God shall be taken from you, and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. But on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. And when the chief priest and Pharisees had heard his parable, they perceived that he speak of them. But when they saw to lay hands on him, they feared the multitude, because they took him for a prophet. Chapter 22 and Jesus answered and spake unto them again by parables, and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son, and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would not came, they would not come. Again he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, Behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen, my fatlings are killed, and all, the, all things are ready. Come unto the merit. But they made light of it, and went their, their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants, and and treated them spitefully and slowed them. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his arm armies, and destroyed those murderers, and burned up their city. Then said he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Go ye therefore unto the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the merit. So those servants went out into the highways, and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guest, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment, and he sent unto them, unto him, friend, how comest thou in heater not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him unto outer darkness. There shall be weeping and garnishing of teeth, for many are called, but few are chosen. Then went the Pharisees and, and took counsel how they might entangle him and his talk, and they sent unto him their disciples with the Herodians, Herodians, saying, Master, we know that thou art true, and teachest, teachest the way of God and truth, neither carest thou for any man, for thou regardest not the person of man. Tell us therefore, what thinkest thou? 
Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? But Jesus perceived their wickedness and said, Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrite? Show me the tribute money, and they brought unto him a penny. And he said unto them, Those is this image and superscriptions. They say unto him, Caesar's. Then said he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things what are God. When they had heard this word, they marveled and left him and went their way. The same day come to him the Sadducees, which say that there is no resurrection, and asked him, saying, Master, Moses said, If a man die having no children, his brother shall marry his wives and raise up seed unto his brother. Now there were with us seven brethren, and the first when he had married a wife, he deceased, and having no issue, left his wife unto his brother. Likewise the second also, and the third unto the seventh. And last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seven? For they all had her. Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do ear, not knowing the scriptures for the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have ye not read that which was spoken? unto you by God, saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And when the multitude heard this, they were astonished of his doctrine. But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence. They were gathered together. When one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto them, unto him thou shalt love the lord thy god with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all my thy mind and the second is like unto this is the first and great commandment thou shalt love the lord thy god with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hung all the law and the prophets. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, saying, What think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? They say unto him, The son of David. He said unto them, How then that David in his spirit called him Lord, saying, The Lord said unto, the, unto my Lord, Sit thou on my, stre my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. If David then called him Lord, how is he his son? And no man was able to answer him a word, neither durst any man from that day forth ask him any more questions.
Dito po tayo magtitigil sa Matthew 22. Sa susunod po ay punta tayo sa chapter 23. 21 to 22 tayo ngayon. So, wag po, wag nyo pong pakaligtaan na pakinggan ang aking mga salita at subaybayan. Okay po. Okay guys. Hanggang dito na lang. Thank you and God bless us all. Maraming salamat sa mga nakikinig sa akin. Thank you and bye-bye sa susunod na chapter natin sa Matthew 23.